guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anastashkina and today I'm going to teach you how to make this with paper feathers, how to cut shape, you know, as usual, how to steam your wafer paper. And um, I hope you like this demonstration. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's begin. Wafer paper has two sides. One side is a bumpy side. Here you can see it's a little bit bumpy. And the other side is a smooth side. So uh, today we are going to use both sides. But what I found when we are going to shape this feather, bumpy side curls more. You can see that this is much narrower than uh, shiny side. So it depends on your needs. If you want your feather to be a little bit more curly, you can use this bumpy side up. I'm going to cut three layers of wafer paper. So I know that roughly I need about this much. And I need three layers of this. I'm going to fold it. And then I'm going to draw my shape and then I'm going to cut it smooth side up because our feathers has two sides as well and I want them to look interesting from all angles. That's why I'm placing uh, all my bumpy sides up on both sides. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take my uh, template and cut my feathers like this. I'm going to roughly cut on the outside and then I'm going to shape it. So just to give it a general shape. And then I'm going to take uh, one piece of 22 gauge wire. I'm using white wire because my feathers are white and my wafer paper is white. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to shape it to my feather. So I want my wire to be somewhere in the middle. And brush it with the wafer paper glue on top and on the bottom first. And I will press it down and hold for a second to make sure that my wire with will, will hold its shape. And then we will attach all the other layers on top. I'm going to apply a little bit more of this wafer paper glue to make sure that my wire is attached. So I'm pressing it down and then I'm going to apply a little bit more on top. And you can see I have glue only applied to my wire, not to my wafer paper. And I'm stacking my two layers. So I'm applying my second layer on top and making sure that my wire is stuck in between two layers. But I didn't glue these layers here. So you can see that I only applied where my wire is. And then I'm going to take my third layer, this one, and apply a little bit of wafer glue here in the middle again, where my wire is. And I'm going to stick my third layer on top. And I have my three layers of wafer paper. I will leave it to dry for maybe one, like one minute, no, no more than that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting on my one of my sides. And I'm cutting not to the center wire, but maybe one, maybe quarter inch from my wire. I'm doing this tiny slits through all three layers. And you can see that I cut this line not straight, but a little bit curved. And then we'll continue to shape this feather even more. So now I have my feather. I have all this shape and I wanted to make it even more interesting by removing some of the parts and cutting tiny slits like this. And when you look at your feather, some parts will be maybe not so round or not so interesting. Feel free to cut them down and shape them the way you want it to. I see that this feather is a little bit thicker, so I will cut it 
and remove a few parts here on top. I want it to be a little bit more round like this. So you can see I have all these parts cut out here. And to shape this wafer paper, I would rather see me doing this here. And I'm going to take my steamer, this tool, and I'm going to start steaming my feather on both sides. And then you will see the magic. Wafer paper will open up and just absorb enough moisture to curl but without melting. Then I'm going to take my Dresden tool and lightly separate these layers. So you can see I insert my Dresden tool in between two layers of wafer paper because we cut them together and they might be stuck but I didn't do this before applying moisture because I was afraid to break it and now when I steamed it a little bit I'm running my Dresden tool in between these layers of wafer paper on one side and I will do the same on the other side and I'm going to steam again I hope you can see when wafer paper absorbs moisture and curls up, it is becoming this fluffy feather. And again, more steam. I'm taking my Dresden tool. You can use the other hand of a bean brush. You don't need to use the Dresden tool, just, just handy for me to use this tool. And I'm being very careful. I just wanted to make sure that my wafer paper feathers isn't stuck. And even more moisture. If you don't have a steamer, you can boil a kettle or just a pot of water and use hot steam to do the same. Just watch closely and see how much a feather grows. And how much you want this to be curly. So I can be very generous with my steam and applying moisture. And you can see already we have this beautiful curls without doing anything, just with a paper magic. Then I will apply even more. And my with paper is not sticky. It is uh, completely dry, so you can see it is the same. It keeps its shape. It just because the, these pieces that we cut are thinner, they absorb moisture faster and they curl this way. Again, I'm separating my layers. And you can stop here. So if it's for you, for your needs, this is all you need. You can stop here. Absolutely. You can go even crazier you can apply more steam and make it curl even more and the thinner you cut your slits or like your tiny feathers the more movement you will get because it will absorb moisture faster again i'm going to run my dressing tool to separate these layers that nothing is stuck to, together and I'm taking breaks in between steaming and applying moisture because I wanted to make sure that I can control how much moisture I have here and how much steam did I apply to my feather and then you can because we have wire, wire running here through our feather we can shape it the way we want it to so something like this can be placed on a cake or any design but you can see we didn't spend much time to creating these feathers and they are they stay soft this one i made yesterday and they will stay in this shape and this soft for as long as you need to. So now you know how to make your wafer paper feather and how to make it fluffy and interesting. If you like this video, don't forget to like it, share with your friend, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Bye bye.